blood, chaos, and screams, the Purge franchise has given us all that and more, where survival means kill or be killed. Something similar is hitting theaters this December, but this time, along with all the blood and guts, there are howls too. You heard that right, we're going to witness a deadly night full of werewolves wreaking havoc in the human world. Remember those good old days where vampires and werewolves were splattered across our TV screens? Well, they're back. The trailer dropped in a few days ago, and we've pulled together everything you need to know about this upcoming movie. Let's dive in. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. We're the only family we have left. We got this. Cody! What are you doing, man? You should kill somebody. We are all soldiers now. Plot Overview What's the story behind the transformation? The trailer doesn't give away much, but here's what we know so far. A year ago, some supermoon event is said to have triggered a gene mutation in humans. This mutation resulted in them being transformed into the heinous werewolves as soon as they stepped into the moonlight. Millions of people turned into these bloodthirsty monsters. Even though this event happened for one specific night, billions of people died fighting for their lives or hiding in the wrong places. Now, a year later, the supermoon is back, and the humans are alerted and prepared for the dangers. Well, most of them. While the authorities warn people about this threat and wish them good luck, scientists try to find the way to alter this fatally bizarre phenomenon. On the other hand, the common people are left to defend themselves by all means. As Cody says, it's going to be every man for himself. Much like the Purgatory films, the intense fear of the violence looms in all the corners, while some brave citizens take it upon themselves to save their families and other innocents. One such citizen is the remarkable Wesley Marshall, who will stop at nothing while killing these violent creatures. That too with a badass attitude. And why not? We expect no less from Frank Grillo. There is sure to be some intense family drama where there is usually that one vulnerable mini-human, a kid, that would need saving, and our hero would do everything in his power to make sure the werewolves don't get her. It's usually her, as even the trailer has shown two scared little girls. While the common humans will be battling to save their loved ones, the scientists are seen battling their experiments that don't seem to be going well. The pessimism in the trailer seems to be indicating that the humans are all going to be left to fight through the night without any cure. So this is the purgatory, where only the werewolves get to have all the fun. Directors and Writers Who's Behind the Scenes Stephen C. Miller is the director of this film. Known for his debut, Automaton Transfusion, which became a cult classic, he also directed the slasher remake Silent Night, Deadly Night. Other titles under his belt include First Kill and Marauders. He later switched to action thrillers, working with big names like Nicolas Cage, Adrian Grenier, and Bruce Willis. He returned to horror with Margot in 2022 and is back with this live-action horror combo. Matthew Kennedy wrote the script, and you might recognize his work from the 2020 thriller Inheritance, or his upcoming film Canary Black. The producers include Miles Nessel, Machete, November Man, Craig Chapman, Chef Thief, and Stephen C. Miller himself. Bite me! Cast. Who's joining the pack? First of all, in the main lead, the one who can pull off shouting bite me to a werewolf and still not get bitten is Frank Grillo. He's playing Wesley Marshall, who most definitely has some army training background. I mean, just look at him. It looks like he's just walked out of one of those intense battles. He seems to be needed by the big guns to help them stop this supermoon epidemic, so he's definitely an important guy. Unlike most of the action heroes, Wesley has a soft side, as he's seen discussing the value of his family in the trailer. At 59, Frank Grillo is still crushing it in action roles. You probably know him as Crossbones in those superhero movies, or as Sergeant Leo Barnes in the Purge films. He's also been in Warrior, End of Watch, Boss Level, and Wheelman. Next, we have Katrina Law playing Dr. Amy Chun. As the name hints, she's one of the scientists trying to fix the whole gene mutation mess. She's best known for playing Mira in Spartacus, and she's also been in Arrow, The Oath, and NCIS. Lou Diamond Phillips shows up as Dr. Aranda, and in the trailer, he's seen giving a pretty somber good luck to everyone on Supermoon Night. Things don't look too great for him. You might remember Phillips as Richie Valens in La Bamba, his breakout role. He's also been in Stand and Deliver, Young Guns, Longmire, and The Big Hit. Elfinish Hadera is seen playing Lucy Marshall. Again, as the name suggests, she's related to our protagonist, Wesley Marshall. It seems like she's either his wife or a sibling. Wesley is seen several times with Lucy, sometimes talking about family importance, and other times the two are backing each other up. James Michael Cummings is quite hard to miss in the trailer, with his highly enthusiastic preparations to hunt the werewolves as he wears a vest 
guest dating Wolf Killer. He's Cody, the neighbor who may either get killed doing something stupid or turn into a wolf himself, or emerge as a brave hero in the end. Other than being an actor, Cummings is also a writer, producer, and the founder as well as CEO of Broad Vision Entertainment. He won the American Independent Filmmaker Award for his film Southie. He's known for other projects like Dr. Sugar, Grey Lady, City on a Hill, and Close Up. Other characters from the trailer include Jonathan Sheck, Sam Daly as Walter, James Kyson as Miles Chen, the guy who transforms in the lab, Lydia Stylinger as the girl with a giant bowl of popcorn, Betzeda Ladin as Dr. Vasquez, the screaming scientist, Ian Fuhrer as Wolf Cody, so yep, Cody does mess up, and Camden Gary as the little scared girl. Release date. When will it hit theaters? When the film was announced in 2022, the principal photography started in Puerto Rico, and it was originally titled Year 2. By the time it came to its full form in 2024, the title was changed to a more generic one. After a long wait since its announcement, the film is finally scheduled to be released on the 6th of December 2024 in the US by Briarcliff Entertainment. Marvelous Verdict. That wraps up our look at everything we know so far about the movie. This film is also being called The Purge with Werewolves, and fans can't keep calm. If those evil humans can make our skin tick, imagine what the larger, more powerful, and more vile versions of those could do. Plus, they look horrific. In the world full of beautiful werewolves like Jacob Black, these reeking ones are sure to give us the creeps. We sure have high hopes for this film. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment box below.